Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Get Fit With Jess and welcome to our next five minute countdown workout. Today we are gonna be focusing on the core. You do not need any equipment besides an optional mat, but if you have an option to use a dumbbell, I highly recommend that you do it. But maybe you're traveling and you don't have that option, it's okay. All right, we're gonna do this workout completely body weight, but if you wanna come with me, then grab a dumbbell and let's come right on down to the floor and get into our first move together. So without the dumbbell, arms are gonna come overhead. We're gonna come up, reach to one side, reach to the outer part of that leg. Come down and switch. Same move, add a dumbbell if you'd like. Get ready, we have about 50 to 55 seconds here and let's go. Come up, cross, and down. Good. Inhale back, exhale, up and over. Awesome, just keep that going at your own pace. Good. Big reach and cross over. We have about 20 more seconds here. The next move that we're gonna do, we're gonna do about 25 seconds on each side. Good. Five, four, let's do one more over to the other side. Without the weight, you're gonna bring one leg in, crunch and reach under and then extend, okay? You could also bring that up here and tap under. If you're coming with me, we're gonna use a weight with that, okay? So we'll bring it up, pass it under and down. Let's go. Good. Now, if you don't like the coming all the way up and you still wanna use a weight, then you can go right here, okay? Nice. We have about 10 more seconds on this side, and then we'll switch, go right over to the other side. You're doing great. I don't know about you, but my core is firing up already. And switch, other side, go. Any of the options work. Breathe through it, exhaling up, inhaling back. about 10 more seconds. The next move is gonna be either a weighted crunch or a weighted sit up. Again, that weight is optional. All right, let's get it right into it. We know how to do this. You can crunch up here with the weight here. You could also come all the way up, reaching up. If you don't like the overhead reach, you can just simply crunch here or here. Just get right into it. Let's go. Good. If you are doing that sit up, let's think about coming down nice and slow. There we go. Good, good, good. We have about 15 more seconds. Next up, we're gonna go into a bicycle. I'm gonna show you three different options. And go ahead and stop. Watch me for just a second. Bicycle right here. Option one, option two right here. Option three, hold your weight over your chest. Let's go. And just bicycle those legs. You could also let your head and neck rest here if you want to. Just make sure that lower back is pushed into the floor. We're breathing, we're pedaling those legs just like we're riding a bike. Awesome. I know, abs are on fire here. We got this. Just one mo more move after this one. Let's stay here for 10 more seconds. We're gonna flip this over into a plank. Any kind of plank that you'd like. In three, two, 
One, let's go. Get there and go. You can be on your hands, elbows. You can elevate that if you want. If you want to use your weight, we're gonna transfer that from one side, slowly over to the other side. Tons of control. Hold it up. Stomach's in. Good. And remember, if you're not liking the weight or you don't have the option for the weight, you are holding this plank. Let's all hold it up. Nice, strong, firm plank. We have 15 seconds. Stay up, stay up, stay up. Come on, finish this. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop. Feel free to sit that back into a child's pose. Awesome work today. Make sure that you do this at least two times over the weekend. I wanna hear from you when you do it. Let's get ready to come back in and crush week three together. Are you in? Are you ready? Let's stay focused this weekend. Keep working hard. I know that you are. I'll see you back here next week for new workouts. Have a great rest of your day. See you soon. Bye.